Hi everyone, and um, I just want to say thank you to all the people who have been participating and helping me in my career along the way. A lot of people thought, okay, um, because I tried a lot of different things in my life to try and, you know, I did like this fitness um, kick, I did this spa thing, <laughs> you know, but in all those different businesses, I was trying to find, well, what's my passion, who am I really, and how can I best help people? So even though I did some fitness things, you know, like, um, you know, let's work our bodies and that, I was trying to help people in my own way, and I found that it fell short. So this is why, you know, this is something that's here to stay. It's not something that is just a hobby. And I do see that people are starting to come in. So while we're waiting, hello, Star. She is always here. She always supports me. And she actually did a video with me. So I am looking for people to do testimony, a video testimonial. So if you don't mind and you want to help out, I, I feel like that is a good way to reach people. And so before I start doing readings, I'm going to show you guys some of the artwork I've been doing. It's all been inspired by my creative process. Other people actually had to kick me in the butt and say, Man, Laura, you know how to do different types of art. Combine it with a reading. And, oh, I see... JJ Vargas, Jalissa, hi, how are you? And I see Marriott is joining. So while people are joining, I'm going to show you some of my um, artwork and explain a little bit about the process. So I'm going to switch the camera. And this one here I actually did for Jalissa's sister. And her sister Alexis is very gifted and she actually works with crystals and has her own home business so I was guided to do a reading for her first and you know like of general messages and then also I get lots of visualizations while I'm doing the readings so this is here and those are her chakras lined up and that is I guess my version of Archangel Raphael and this is the planet Earth, and that's a paintbrush for her because she's a very creative person. And this shows like, um, you know, planetary system. So like everybody is working together. So that's one of the, I, I'm calling them soul art drawings right now. But I'm as soon as I think of a cooler name or something that's not used a lot, I will switch. And then this one here, you guys have probably seen me post this a couple of times, but this was also a reading for uh, a person. And I saw this person connected with the ocean and mermaids. And if you look inside of here, there is a spiral. It goes deeper. So she's on the inner journey within herself. And also, a lot of times when I see water in a reading, it symbolizes someone having a different, you know, different emotional things going on in their life. And they're searching for things. And so even in this one, it looks kind of funny, like, okay, she has a pot here and there looks like there's steam coming out. But it's more of like bubbles and it's showing that even if she's underwater, no matter what she's doing in her life, that she can still, it's like if she believes in herself, anything is possible. Okay, and then this next one here, um, this one has to do with balance. And this is another mermaid inspired one because this person was going through, if you look, the water is kind of murky and she was going through a lot of different emotional tides and you know, she, she had um, different things like depression going on for her life. And I saw also that on top of this, she had this big weight on her shoulder, you know, like a big weight on her head. And um, this person was, she was battling um, different things in her life. And it's all about balance and her coming to terms with what she needs to do to move forward in her life. So, um, 
And then the last one, and then we'll get to some readings. This one here is more of, um, it has an eye, and then there's different colors within. You can't really see it good in this light, but um, it has to do with looking inside of yourself and the inner soul. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to pull a couple cards. I was kind of guided to um, pull like an angel of the week. So, but um, I do see there there's some people in here. And so before I start, they want me to do kind of like an angel for midweek. So a lot of people are doing readings. Well, this is what's going on for the whole week. But in the middle of the week, that's when you really start feeling it or, or like people start getting stressed, okay? It's not Friday yet. So that's why I picked Wednesday as a day to start, you know, to do these. So I'm going to grab out my angel cards because they're telling me pick an angel of the week. And I already see Uriel coming through. <laughs> so Uriel likes to come through a lot and help people on their path. And I am getting things also about family and different people having turmoil with their family and working things out to, for a resolution. And so I'm just going to shuffle the cards. And the first one that I got here, it has Archangel Michael and it says that you are safe. And they're showing me, you know, this may be people that are watching this that aren't you know, the ones that are making themselves known and saying hello. And it's talking about you are safe. And it says, Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and your home. And so they're showing me an image of people fighting or like people not disagreeing about things. So this could be related to friends or family, but they're saying that this is the angel midweek. Call on me. That's what I got for that. Okay. And... They are guiding me now. I put out a couple different decks, and so I'll start with, um, oh, thank you, everyone, for commenting on the drawings. And if you want one, I am offering that, too, as a part of my service, where um, one might be where I do the reading, and then I sketch it out, and I send it to you, and you just keep the sketch, and you can print it out or something. And the other one is that you actually want the artwork along with the reading so there's two options in that so they are guiding me to the life purpose cards so I'm gonna start I'm gonna go back to the beginning so I'm just scrolling back so I see star in there and we're gonna see what cards want to come through for you and these these life purpose cards it doesn't necessarily mean that this is my career it could be a guidance or a push or something that sometimes these cards are, they bring out things you never thought about. Okay, so here we go with star. Okay. And I see Archangel Michael coming through for star saying, call on me right now. I visualize, he, he's showing me an image of him sending purple light to you and or like it looks like a purpley dark blue light and I am wearing purple today got my Michael color on <laughs> but um, I'm just um, while I was trying to get messages for you that's what came through so okay so I'm gonna pull a couple cards and all right star so let's go with you the first one that I got is travel it says your life purpose involves traveling and they're saying they're talking about emotional travel and things where your mind is not your mind is running away from you that um they are talking about you doing some traveling to soothe your soul and they're showing me an image of you driving in the car and they're saying that it's important for her to kind of help her to get out of her environment so that um, like if you're always doing the same things over and over and you're in a cycle to kind of you know what I'm gonna get in my car and I'm gonna go try something new I'm gonna do something different to kind of get out of that space so they're bringing that forward for you so see it's not necessarily saying you're gonna go be a airline stewardess and travel all over the world it's that's the message that they're giving in regards to that 
The next card that I got, there's so let me show you the pic. I don't think I showed you the picture of it, but it shows that. And then this next one here, it says, Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desire. And they're saying that they were watching when um, we were, I was talking to you earlier, and we were doing kind of, you were doing a testimonial for me. And they're saying that they're, about you debating on different things in your life. And that they're pushing you that like your life might be uncomfortable right now. Or you're going through a lot because they're like, we're getting in there and we're really working on her and we're pushing her to change. We're pushing her out of her comfort zone. And they're saying that they really want to help you with that. And I keep seeing Archangel Uriel coming through. So I guess Uriel wants to be there for everybody. So everyone that's watching this. Michael and Uriel. You can call on them. Say, that, that's my midweek stress angels. And then the next card that I got for you, Star, is light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. And that is the card right there. And they're saying that, that first you have to bring peace to yourself. And they're saying that you are working on yourself and that you are trying to do those things. And they're saying it's important to make sure that the minute you start feeling, oh, or stressed or, you know, feeling kind of, you know, like too much is going on in your head spinning, that um, to, t to take a mental break and then to focus on, you know what, am I projecting the love and light that I want to have in my world or am I thinking about stress? So they're, they're showing me like using the law of attraction and then, and then focusing on what you want inside of your heart. They're saying visualizing your heart beating and that there's pe peaceful healing light around it that's soothing whatever color that you think is soothing and then to project that out into your world. They're saying that's a powerful visualization for you like you just sitting there and then this yellow comes out or any type of color that you that is comforting to you. Okay, and um, that's the messages that I got for you, Star. Thank you for coming. And so, let's see, the next person that I'm going to go to is Jalissa. So, here we go. So I'm gonna shuffle these back in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna separate these cards. But you know, if the angels want to get a certain message through, they're gonna keep giving me the same cards, because it seems like that's a pattern. So we'll see what happens in this in this reading. Oops. Okay. Those ones, uh, okay, they're guiding me to pull three cards from the bottom, and then just how I do it is I hear their voice, I hear my um, reading, my re that helps me do the readings. My angels, they tell me, like, okay, pull this card, pull that card. So, just if you guys are wondering, and <laughs> All right, so we did get a repeater. It says, time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. I keep getting the phrase, you're trying too hard. So I'm not positive on what that's related to. And like you trying to do things, are they're showing me someone forcing. So just make sure, and they're talking about you deciding on what is best for you right now in this moment versus what is best for everyone. That they're saying she needs to be a little bit selfish right now. And the next card that I got is study. So it says reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. And there, I think I remember somewhat that maybe this was brought up before in a reading that I did for you privately, but they are stressing about you to become what you want in your world. I think that this is the theme of the reading, so we'll see what plays out as we go along in everybody else's. And they're saying about studying different things in relationships, about relationships, 
um, becoming an expert and they're showing me like you studying metaphysical things in regards to um, how to heal different things with couples and also they're saying putting your best foot forward like not sabotaging what you want and so there's different ways you can take the study card the next one is they're giving me is oracle cards for you and it says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others so they're saying that they want you to trust in yourself more and they're saying that this they're bringing this up as a life purpose saying that this is important for her that this is something that she could do if she really wanted to and it would be another way for her to earn income like they're they're saying that for you Jalissa okay all right so then let me go and so thank you Jalissa the next one is Latha all right so I'm going to make sure that I really separate these cards. It's, it's interesting to me to see like what theme is coming out. That everybody's getting um, you know, similar things. Uh, you're welcome, Jalissa. Take care. Okay. Ooh, they want to give me a lot of cards for you. Um, hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll combine them together for you, um, Latha. And they're saying she really needs messages. So I'm going to put, put two over at once. Okay, so for this here, the first two cards that I got, it's talking about for... Um, Latha, it says support and travel. It's combining them together. So I'm only doing what I'm guided to, guys. Whoops. So um, I was trying to pull just three cards, but they're really emphasizing for Latha. So I'm I'm pulling what I'm guided to pull for her. And there's they're saying that traveling is important for you and helping you to um, with your life purpose. And they're showing me you reaching out to a lot of people and that that is a part of your path. And that traveling gives you an opportunity to see how other people do things or what you could learn from a different group and then apply it. So they're saying your life purpose involves traveling and your life purpose, it says your life purpose fully supports you. So again, they are talking about um, you trusting in that you're supported and not thinking about what other people are saying or things along those lines or letting negativity, um, negativity bring you down. And I do see that there's a lot of people around you that... I feel like they're watching you, but they're not really commenting or supporting you. But there's the angels are telling me to tell you that they they do believe in you. That the people they are paying attention, even though they may be shy to like the different posts you're doing. That that everyone is sending love towards you. So they want they want that for you. The next card, okay. <laughs> We have spiritual teacher and oracle cards for you, Latha. And they're saying that a couple people that are on right now, that they could benefit from this also. And it's a spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. And then the oracle card one says, you are able to discern answers and guidance for, for yourself and others. And they're saying for you, they said, keep doing the meditations. Keep doing, they're showing me you doing a meditation and there's all these beings like above you. And they're all giving their knowledge to you. And they're saying to make sure that you're clearing yourself out periodically. So that they're saying like too much could come at once. That stuff needs to be more clear and more solid. And then that will make more of an impact on the messages that you give to people or that you feel like sharing. 
And then, and I see your comment. Okay, sure. Thank you very much. Okay, Latha. The next two cards that I got for you, justice and environmentalism. So they're really bringing that forward for you. And for the justice, they're saying that, oh, hi, Isabella. And for the justice, it says your career brings fairness and protection to help others who need your help. And they're saying that don't worry that karma, they're saying things about maybe someone being cruel or someone not supporting you in the right way. And there, this could be something that has happened or something for the future. They're saying that did not worry about that, that justice will be served and that you can ask for justice. The next card is environmentalism. It says you are an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. And they're saying to put yourself in that picture that you're that angel with wings. Okay, Latha. And um, what did she write? Okay, I hear that too. Keep doing my daily meditations and ascension meditations. Yes, I see that it's very powerful for you and uplifting. Okay, and so let me go back and we'll see um, Mariette. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Mariette. I hope you're doing good, Mariette. And I see Jeanette, um, you appeared. And if, if you um, want a reading, say hi. And um, I'll try not to focus on the, the angels want to talk about the same things for you, Jeanette. I'll try to focus on other stuff, okay? <laughs> All right, so Mariette, here we go. They're pull, guiding me to pull one card from... The Ascended Masters deck for you. And I think you have these cards by um, Kyle Gray. But they wanted me to pull one of these before I go into the other ones. And I, I'm i not an expert at pronouncing that one. Oh, Jeanette said hi. All right, Jeanette, you ready for it? And I see my, hey, my sister, everybody, Karen joined. And um, it says, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So, ooh la la. <laughs> Marriott. <laughs> That's a card you want to get live, right? Um, but this card has to do, it's not more so about, they're, they're saying that passion is, hey, K hey, Karen. They're saying that, um, Creativity is connected to your passion and the sexual energies and imagination. And they really want that to come through for you. That they want, and anybody that feels like this resonated for them, if you feel like my life's kind of boring right now and things aren't happening the way that I want, what's missing? Is the passion missing in my life? So they're saying, get out a pen and paper and write down, you know, okay, what do I want back in my life that's missing? And they're saying those key things, then you will know. And then you can ask yourself, okay, I, now that I identified this, what can I do to bring it back? Okay. So then, okay, now I got two cards from the Life Purpose deck for Mariette. And then I'll go to the next person. So I think I knocked on these. Okay, and I'm asking them, two cards, please, two cards, because <laughs> I am noticing that more people are on, and I want to make sure that I get to everybody in my time. And they're saying for you, Mariette, they're saying she already knows a lot. She knows her path. She knows her purpose, but so she gets sidetracked, because they're showing me... Um, you doing classes or doing different things and then it's like it kind of takes you off from where you already were like oh well you know what i think i need to do this and i need to know that but they're saying she needs to just start applying it and they're saying um about you giving free readings to people that they want i guess that's something that i talked with you before but they're saying that that's something they want to bring forward again for you to do lots of free readings and thank you star for your comment okay the next card is for mariette it says books you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books and that's the card here and they're showing me you writing about your life 
and then publishing it. So angels always encourage people to write about their thoughts and feelings and that everybody has something interesting to say even if they think well you know what my life's kind of boring or you know it's not where I want it to be they're saying you will help other people because they're showing me something about you writing about your father and your feelings towards that and him kind of from the other side guiding you like him being you know what I'm gonna help you with this and then him putting landing some inspiration into your mind Okay, the next one that I get for you, Mariette, it says speaker. And they're showing me an image of you talking in front of people. And they're saying about shyness and that she can do this. And they're showing me you doing something with energy healing in front of other people. Yeah, so that might be something to think about. It might, might be something that you've done or that they're focusing on for the future for you. And they're saying readings and healings for you. And they're talking about your web page. And they're saying, get on it. Get on it. It says, your life purpose involves your skills of oration. And then they're saying, imagine that, that your face is in there. Okay, Mariette. And Mariette said, geez, wow, and cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that... Um, and she wrote, yeah, I've been wanting to do energy healing. So that was your sign right there. And um, thanks, Mariette, for coming on and supporting me. And I'm going to go to the next person now. Let me scroll through and see who is next. Okay. So we have Isabella. And then I'll get to Jeanette and Karen. So Isabella... They are guiding me to pull a card from the Ascended Masters. And I hope you had a good birthday. Okay, so... So I was just going to focus on the Ascended Masters deck like the next time. But, you know, as you guys no i just do what i'm guided to so i hop through a couple decks usually <laughs> when i try to be organized they're like we're we're screwing it all up for you laurie just do this do that so okay so what i got for you isabella it says dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness and you know what's funny is they're bringing up something from my experience and they want me to use it for you. Oh, that's good. You said it was peaceful. That's good. And they're, I recently, they want me to tell you about this so you can go and look at it. It's from, on YouTube, James Van Prague. He's a medium. He has on his page um, a video about healing karma. And it has, and they are talking about departed people and healing residual pain. So if you want to, and this is for anybody else on here too that is missing someone, go on that page and look where it says karma healing or healing karmic ties and watch that video. It's very powerful. So they brought that to my attention from my own experience to tell you about that. So you can investigate it and see how it feels for you. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next set of cards, Life Purpose for Isabella. Okay, and okay, so what they brought up here is music. It says your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. And um, for this here, they are talking about, they're showing me an image of you. I don't know if I've said this before. It kind of feels familiar um, about you. They're showing me you kind of in a dimly lit place and there's candles. And you're just listening to music. And they're saying for her to pour out her soul. And I'm seeing like, I'm talking, I get something about journaling for you. And they're saying about your life purpose involving music. And they're saying that 
maybe this is something that you haven't thought about, but they're saying you combining, oh, you saying I love to sing. They're saying you using your voice or like listening to music and, and using that for healing people. They're showing me like a person laying down and you're walking around them and they're showing me crystals and lights and you kind of singing and you're singing or invoking you know, like spiritual energy or a angels, you know, like they're, they're saying, focusing on the light and helping others. And you're, but you did say here that you love to sing and they're bringing up music saying that it's comforting to yourself and others. And they're talking about you singing yourself to sleep. So if that's something that you do, or it's a suggestion from them, they're saying that they, they're saying music is a part of your life purpose. Because they're showing me kind of like it being neglected or it's not fully focused on. And they're saying, bring that back front and center for her. The next card says, healer, you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. And they're saying things about health in regards to this card also. So they're bringing that to your um, attention. And I saw another person entered, Yasmin. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and, okay, we got cut off for a minute because somebody was calling me. Oh, okay, you're Jalissa's sister. Okay, so I'll pull a card for you. So just hang on there. I'm trying to get to everybody. And they're guiding me to pull another one for you, Isabella, and then I'll stop. And this one, Archangel Michael. And it says, trusting heaven, you are safe. Angels stand close, surrender your concerns, and allow a miracle to occur. Okay, and Isabella did say, I need to get healthy. So they were bringing that up in regards to this card. But also, you as well, you know, what I've learned from reading you also is that you have a message to share with other people. That you have many different gifts. Um, and they're showing me crystals, like crystal healing for you too. So I don't know if you're, you participate in that or it's like I w we want her to investigate that more. But they're showing me crystals with you and you being able to hear them or communicate with them. So that may be something that you're aware of or not, but they're bringing it to my attention. Okay, so um, thank you, Isabella, for coming and supporting. And now let's see. Who we're going to go to next. So I'm just going to scroll through here real quick. Okay, so we got Jeanette. All right, so these cards have to do with um, life purpose, Jeanette. So hopefully I won't, I won't talk about, you know, the stuff, the same stuff over and over. And um, Isabella said, I do thank you for everything. Thank you, Isabella. Have a good night. Thank you for all the hearts and love, everybody. Okay, and so we're going to focus on Jeanette. Okay. Oh, you're, I'm glad. She's like, it's okay. It's cool. Because I know the same talk topics keep coming up for you Jeanette so I want to try and change it because you already know <laughs> all right the first card that I got well okay we got a little bit of repeaters this one is books it says you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books so we're seeing this one again and it's saying about you um, reading different books to help attune fine-tune your abilities but they're saying also about you learning and going back to school like your angels are really pushing for you saying she needs to switch her career she needs to go they're saying she's settling for less than what she really is and they want they're saying education they're really emphasizing that for you and they're saying spiritual education also and um the next card that i got for you is trust and it says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. And I see 
kind of, I get the feeling like kind of being frustrated or beaten down, but then it's like you get this leap of faith and then you, it's like you go with it and you're really doing good. And then all of a sudden something happens and it kind of knocks you down and then you're kind of down for a while. So they're saying she kind of needs to ask us right away. I'm starting to fall angels. Please help me. And lift me back up to where I need to be so I can get my goals done. But they're really emphasizing for you. They're like, we want her to do something new. And they're saying that your soul is yearning for something new. And they're saying this in career-wise. But I, I know that I've already told you things like they talked about mediumship for you. So there's a lot of talented healers that are on this um on this live reading the next card that I got for you is leadership so again not all of these have to do with okay this is the right career it's some aspect that they want to help you with your life purpose so leadership could be this is what you came down here to do was to focus on being a leader and it says take charge of the situation and they're saying this again they're saying they're focusing strictly on career for you saying that they're showing me someone kind of 50-50. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not, and then it goes up and down. So just make sure that um, they're saying whenever you feel down, get your butt in gear, kick yourself saying, you know what, I'm just going to look on Craigslist or I'm going to look on these other job websites and just see what else is out there. What else can I do? But they are saying that cleaning does help you or like it helps kind of clear the mind. It's a form of meditation also so that, okay, I'm going to clean and do this. And it's like exercise invigorates your soul. So they're saying that there's benefits to it, but they want, and they're, they're bringing up your friend. I don't remember. I see an image of her face, but I know I've read for her before, but they're bringing her up. They're saying to bring her on here. So, um, I think, you know, I've read for some of your friends. She's one of your good friends. <laughs> so maybe get with me after this because they're saying we want her to get on here. She, she needs some love too. Okay. So those are the messages that I got for you, Jeanette. Ah, Janae. Yes. Yes. That's the, that's the face that I'm seeing. So if you want to tell her about it and get her on here because they're saying they want to give her some messages. Okay. So now I'm going to go to, let me look through this list real quick. Okay. So we got Karen. So I'm going to go with Karen, and then after that, we'll do Yasmin. Okay. And, oh, okay, so um, when I was just talking with Jeanette about her friend named Janae, she said she's in the hospital. I sent her healing prayers. Okay, so this is a prayer that I learned from someone that I go to for readings named Andrea. And so I'm just going to send a million angels to help Janae and help her to feel better. And I see Archangel Raphael around her sending, sending light down. And I see that there's already angels around her. Oh, okay. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but you just told me like what's going on with her. So... I would like to call her, too, if you could give me the phone number or her extension, I'll call her. Okay, so I'm going to let let me know how she's doing or message me after, okay, Jeanette? Thanks for coming, Jeanette, and thanks for supporting me. All right, Karen. All right, okay. So they're guiding me to switch the to decks. Wow, okay, they're kind of switching it up on me, Karen. Uh, so they already got me to pull some cards from other decks. And now I'm going to do this life purpose for you. They're saying something about Kelly. And that me reading for Kelly. So if Kelly wants a card pulled. Or you could tell her to get on here. or um, They're bringing up a concern about Kelly. Okay, so they're giving me, um, I have a couple of cards for you, Karen. So I'm going to start with the first two. The first one is an angel card, 
And this is saying for you, Claire Sentience. And it says Archangel Raguel. So this is an angel that you can call on. He, um, he helps with various different things. It says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. And I see that this angel really wants to work with you. And they are bringing up Doreen Virtue book. I don't know if you have this already or not, but they're saying Archangels 101 or Angels 101 by Doreen Virtue. That the, Because they're saying that we got her sister. Her sister's an angel lady. Well, we got to get you. So that's what they're bringing up for you. So you can call on this angel and ask for help. They're saying like th things going on in the family or finances or, you know, different things happening for you. Like, you know, the during the holidays or this whole month, people are usually stressed out. You know, like they're buying gifts for other people or they're like, what do I do about this situation or this person? Okay, the next card that I got for Karen, it says Master Buddha. And it says, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. And they're showing me, they're giving me something about there's, a, there's something around in your house or that something that you feel or see or hear around in your house on and off. And that they're saying to, to bless your house and they're talking about sage. So, and I get a feeling like maybe you already have done this or that you went to a store and I get the impression about mom being here, like someone touched my shoulder and then I got mom too. And I see she's on the other side supporting and guiding and that she wants us to do some more readings together so that, um, that she's bringing up that one day where I was with you and we did readings for like eight hours and your whole family was like, what are you guys doing? What's going on? <laughs> but we were having fun. So we went for like eight hours. They're bringing that. My mom is coming through for both of us. And um, she's saying that she sees what you're what you're doing and like when you post things on the internet saying, well, you know, I miss my mom or happy birthday, that she did not miss any of that. And I don't know. She is kind of bringing up about you being the favorite. <laughs> so saying you were her favorite. But okay, mom. You know. But she loves everybody. So she's. I think she's just being silly though. And the next card that I got for you. These are life purpose now. It says talk to your angels. It says instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance and they're bringing this up in regards to the holidays and you know like they're saying things about wondering well what's going on with this person what's going on with that or you know what we're cutting these people or we're we're not um dealing with it this year they're saying they're saying that you're doing the right thing cutting down on any stresses or people that you feel that are not supporting you in your life that it is great for you to Cut, cut anyone out of your life that is not supporting you because they're saying that you're seeing clearly about, well, you know what? There's been a pattern in my life and I keep doing this cycle with these people and it's not getting any better and I try. So they're saying cut your losses, but they're saying to do it with kindness though. They're saying sprinkle it with love, blessings, and kindness versus, uh-uh, I'm not talking to them, whatever. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what they're saying. They're saying, name the people, each person that you're having animosity with. And I see a Christina came on. Hi, Christina. And they're saying to sprinkle each of those people with love and kindness. That it will go a lot further. And you might even see like people uh, contacting you that you blessed out of nowhere. And you're like, Whoa, okay. That that's kind of freaky, you know? So they're, they're like, they really want to prove that they're there and they're on your side. Okay. The next card that I got was family for you, Karen. It says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. And they're saying that you came down here to learn about unconditional love and, um, they're saying unconditional love 
and releasing any beliefs or judgments that are holding your, you back. So like anything that you're thinking about somebody where well, they, they don't got my back, they're not supporting me. They're, they're saying kind of switch it around to something more positive and see the good in them so then the situation can be mended. Or And they're saying also asking the angels to heal the karma with, and then name the people and to keep doing that every day until you feel like that it's fully healed or that it, you think about it and it doesn't bother you, then you know that it's been worked on. Okay, Karen, so those are the messages that I got for you. And if you want to talk after this, um, that I'm done here, then let me know. Give me a call or uh, message me on Facebook. Okay, so then let me go back through the list and see if there's anybody else. I know there's two people. Yasmin. Okay, so I'm going to go to Yasmin and then I'll hit Christina. Okay. All right. So here we go. And, and for people that are just watching, I'm doing Adoring Virtues Life Purpose cards, and then I'm just pulling whatever I'm guided to pull. So some, some people may get more cards than other ones. It just depends on what they feel um, is what they want me to do. Okay. Okay, so I'll go with these ones that they pull. Okay, they're guiding me to pull a card from the bottom here. This is for Yasmin, but they're saying that this could relate to multiple people that are on here. Take your power back. And it says, Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, and they're saying that you can focus on this image and see this as something to look at and kind of call upon or meta, you know, kind of stare at it and call that energy into you because they're showing me an image of you and it's like your wings are spreading. They're showing me like there's angel wings inside of your body that need to come out. <laughs> so that's very, and they're saying earth angel and they're showing me about wings spreading for you and they are showing me like, it's kind of cute. They're showing me a little halo for you. Okay, now I'm going to get to the cards for you. Okay. And the net for, next card I got for you is freedom. And they're showing me, they're showing me this woman and it looks like she's, they're saying, oh, she's got her wings on. <laughs> so they're saying to visualize that to you. And they're showing me this woman escaping or she's kind of running off in the distance. And they're talking, they're giving me an example of someone kind of running away from their problems or not facing things fully. Um, I get an image of a person, they're kind of looking to others. It says, you're free to do what you choose. And I see an image of a woman, and it looks like she has chains on her. Like there's chains on her feet. Like she feels like she's stuck or that she tries to move. Every time I try to do something, I get shot down. So why should I even try? So that's kind of like the impressions that I'm getting. So this, and then the next card that I got is Builder. And it says, your innate ability to build and create brings you deep, a deep sense of accomplishment. And they're kind of, gui they're guiding me to go to the book for this one. So, you know, I am all about using the book. So if they're, I get intuitive guidance, but if they tell me, hey, go to the book, there has to be something in there that they want me to get across to you. So, and it says right here, your inherent interest in structure and architecture has led you to develop an eye for design and skillful construction. So this may have to do some of these things, maybe stuff that you haven't thought about that they're bringing to your attention, or it may be something that, um, you know, is, is something that you've thought about before. And it says you're naturally inquisitive and you want to understand the mechanics and engineering secrets behind everything. And they're saying like you being an investigator or like you want to know the truth of things. And, and other things that this, this says your soul longs to create because your sole purpose is to build. 
Um, you love new projects that you can sink your teeth into, especially when you can merge plans with creativity. And they're saying things about, in regards to this, to not take this literally and to think of it like creating new ideas. They're showing me people forming together and creating something wonderful. So it's not just about, okay, I'm building this project or things along those lines. But they are saying that you have a gift of creating and that you're bringing it, bringing it out into the table. And they're showing me... Like people going to you for the answers or um, they're, and they're showing me that they want you to emerge. That they're showing me you emerging and becoming a stronger person. And there was something else in regards to this. They're bringing up confidence. They're saying that that's important for her in regards to the... They're talking about that your life purpose is building Okay, you coming down here and that um, helping others create. They're saying like you, people trying to fit puzzle pieces and then you're fitting it all together. Okay, so they're saying like she can be the objective person who, who fits everything together. And find, oh, that's it. You're missing that. So they're saying that that's kind of a part of your life purpose. Actually, they're saying that is your life purpose. But everybody has, from what I've discovered in life purposes, it varies. So like your lesson might be patience, and then you learn patience, and then here comes another one. So there, so whenever people get reading, they want me to say this in general about readings. Nothing is ever set in stone. And like right now, what I get is off of this moment in time. So... It may be this is what they want you to work on right now, and then later on down the line, you'll get another purpose or, or your life will shift And because they're always showing me things flow, fluid and flowing for people to not get stuck on one concept in a reading and then because they're saying that person, if, they're, if they really go for it and they work on it, then they'll change it. You know, and then, and then, okay, your guides will say, okay, she needs to work on this now. This is her life purpose now, you know? So it's like, if they're showing me a, compar a compartment. Okay, here's a lesson. Here's this. Here's that. Here's that. Here's these people. And then all this, all this stuff trickles down. All these things they need to work on. Okay. And sometimes it can feel like a maze or a puzzle or like, okay, I went to this reader and aha, that's it. But then, and you feel like it resonates for that time. And then after a period of time, you go back to it and you're like, okay, well, this doesn't fit anymore. What now? So they're saying to just be open to the ideas that come out and work on it, but not get stuck to it. And, and this is the last card for you, Yasmin. And I see that Hannah joined. Hi, Hannah. I miss you. And um, this says heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality. And so for this one here again, they're showing me about your angel wings coming out. And they're saying that that's powerful for you, um, like a confidence builder. You can close your eyes and focus on your body and then imagine these beautiful angel wings coming out. And they're saying that you can make them different colors. So if you think about purple or blue, whatever, because they're saying, they're talking, really talking about colors healing and colors enhancing people's moods and they're saying that that's powerful for you so if you have to do something and you feel like you know what I need a lot of confidence right now this is something new they're saying visualize yourself and your angel wings coming out and spreading and that and that empowering you and giving you more confidence okay Yasmin so thank you for coming and let me see who else I'm gonna get to All right. Okay, I think we got Christina next. Okay, I don't know if I've read for you before, Christina. But let's see what we get. And then I'll go to Hannah. Hannah, if you want a card pull, say hi. Okay. Okay.
Oh, okay. Hannah said, miss you. Hi. Okay. If you have any time, Hannah, come and see me and I hope you're doing okay. I do get a feeling of health for you, Hannah. Okay. But I'll, when I get to you, I'll, I'll talk some more about it. Okay. So the first card that I got for Christina, it says, let go. And it says, walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. And they're talking about patience and understanding for you. And I do get an image of people kind of like this. And they're, it's like people back to back and they're not looking at each other. And, okay, so let's see what else we get. Okay, so... This is our repeater card so far. We got books for like the third time. And it says, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. And they are talking about research for you. And they are showing me an image of a woman. And she, she looks like she's reading. But they're saying, let me see what else this is talking about. They're showing me somebody learning as much as they can about a subject. And they're, they're saying that it's important for you to implement it. They're saying not just learning about it or watching others. They're saying implementing is very important for her and the follow through. And that, that's, what, that's what this card means in regards to you. Okay, and the next card I got is trust. And it says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. And they're showing me an image of a lady and she's at a crossroads and there's a question mark in the middle. And they're, they're, say, they're bringing this card up, saying they're giving a lot of visualization techniques today. And they're saying to put yourself inside of that bubble. And they're saying that she needs gold light. Like the people could think of it like I associate it with wisdom, strength, like a Christ light. But they're saying she needs that gold light even more than she thinks she does. You know, so they're, they're saying that putting yourself in and they're saying that they want you to visualize yourself inside of there often and that you're receiving this light and this wisdom. And, and they're giving me a powerful visualization of like this light showering down on you. And they are bringing up oracle cards for you in regards to that too. And healing in regards to that for, you know, like those being connected for you. This says, the next card I got for you is body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. And they're saying that she's not limited, that she can multitask and do different things. But they want to bring that to your attention. And they're showing me about a tattoo. And a tattoo, I don't know if you have one or not, but they're showing me a tattoo of like something embedded over someone's heart and saying that that is powerful too. That tattoos... Um, I'll give you an example. This this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it. That one here, it has an eye on there. And that one is the third eye. And when I look at it and I focus on it, it's like it brings back my awareness and it can open me up. So they're, they're talking about tattoos being important in that way. And um, that I don't know if they're saying, again, I don't, I don't don't know specifically if they're saying that you have a tattoo or are they're suggesting for you to get one but they're bringing that up also like artwork looking at artwork and that being powerful and inspiring you like you posting up different things all over in regards to people that inspire you people that you know like you think that are good teachers to put them everywhere and and they're saying we that it, I feel like there's these big borders up and they're like, we're get, trying to get her to walk on this path. We're trying to get her to walk on this path. And it's like, she's kind of bumping against these, these walls. They're like, we want to get her there. We want to get her there. <laughs> 
and she's kind of bouncing back and forth. This could be like different ideas or getting sidetracked in life, but it's like I see an image of angels and they're holding up these borders like we're going to get her to where she needs to be. And it's like they're laying out these tracks for you. And let's see. So they are guiding me to one more for Christina. So I hope this resonates with you. And again, like I was saying, some of these things, it's not necessarily a prediction of the past, present or future, but it more so be that this is what they want you to know right now in this moment to think about it. If you haven't thought about it before, you know, kind of bringing things to your awareness. And they are talking about artwork again and creativity, but more so they keep showing me images of artwork in regards to you. So I'm not positive what that's related to. They are guiding me. So last one for um, Christina. They wanted me to do an affirmation card. So I'm kind of hopping around a lot. It says, as I say yes to life, life says yes to me. And then I'm just going to read the back of this. It says, life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings me only good experiences. And they're saying, they're highlighting Life brings me only good experiences. And they're talking about a person having their expectations too high. And they're saying, woo, she needs to lower it down a little bit. Or they're saying your standards are too high compared to, um, you know, they're giving an example. Like for this type of reading, I'm not going, uh, you know, I'm trying not to go too deep, but but to give enough. So they're, they're saying that sometimes her standards are a little bit too high and they're saying to bring it down and to ask your angels to help you to set um, good, they're saying good boundaries, good limits and, and balance. And also um, about the standards, like making sure that your standards are, I don't know how to describe it, like they're saying to make sure they're balanced so that it's not too much or, or expecting too much out of people. Okay, and that person's not capable of it. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Christina. And then the last one, I'm just looking through this list of people. And let's see. I'm going to go to Hannah now. Christina, where, are you still on? I hope that um, some of that resonated with you. I never know on these readings. You know, it's just, I guess, kind of, I just focus on service and I just tell what I get. And hope, hopefully it resonates. You know, angels, don't let me down. <laughs> That's what I say. Don't let me down. Give me it, please. And, uh, okay, so now we're going to Hannah. Okay, Christina's still on. Okay, thanks for coming, Christina. All right, Hannah, they are, you know what was funny is when I was focusing on Christina, they kept talking about Hannah and saying things about health. And they are showing me Archangel Raphael, um, and they're showing me these green healing angels that they want me to call them in to go to you, Hannah. So calling on a million green healing angels for Hannah and Archangel Raphael to surround her and help uplift her and they're saying she needs support and I see these angels like carrying you like they're like it's like somebody it's a kind of a funny uh, metaphor somebody's standing on a crowd and accounts a concert and they jump down and then the people like they're surfing the crowd so they're showing me you're surfing the crowd and all these angels are they're like passing you around sending healing love to you that's kind of funny and they're showing me kind of things being a little bit up and down for you and if you ever want to talk to me you know just message me on facebook i'm i'm always here for people and Hannah said, oh, thank you, Laura, yes. Okay. They're showing me like golden light in your eyes too, um, like stars. So that seems like that's a good thing. <laughs> 
but they're showing me golden light in your eyes and they're showing me like inside of your soul it being all sparkly and glittery and they're that's kind of a cute thing they're showing me little unicorns and sparkling glittery and you know it looks really cute because so, there's they're, I guess what they're saying is throughout whatever's going on with her like that I get something with an illness or health but I see or like something that you went through but they're showing me that no matter what she's going through it's like they're sparkling she's still sparkling and glittering and she's you know like she, her light is influencing people that she's around all right so <laughs> I got the card travel for you your life purpose involves traveling and let me see what that I get in regards to that And they're showing me you traveling with your family. And they are bringing up something about the house. And I don't know if the house sold. or, But I remember you saying that you guys were going to stay. But they're showing me something with you traveling or going places. And they're saying um, about you not staying in one spot too long. Kind of like you're hopping around. Like she needs to see the world. She needs to experience things. They're saying, tell her to get out of her little protective bubble of the world. And she needs to get out and have fun and go on adventures. That's what they're, they're bringing up for you. But they are saying that traveling is connected to your perfect purpose. Not just that it's that they're saying for you to go traveling right now. They're saying it's kind of like a there's a broader thing to it. They're showing me about you working in different areas. And it says, ah, I've been thinking about cooking up travel plans. Okay, okay. But they're showing me an image about you in regards to the future. And right at this moment in time, it's like something involving you being someone who travels around and helps people. Or, or like your job, a part of your job is traveling. Uh, okay, she said 100%. The next card that I got for you is music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. And so this is a card that we got earlier in a different reading also. And they are showing me image of you in a car and you're singing along and you're being happy while you're doing that. And your angels, it's like your angels are like this. And they're like, oh, we love when she's like that. So that's what they're bringing up for that for you. And they're, they're saying things about keep, like keep doing that. They're saying that about music lifting you up. And I think I did get this card for you before, but it says, um, like in a different reading, it says spiritual teacher. I keep, I'm, I don't know, I, I got like a bubble in my throat, so excuse me guys. Spiritual teacher, you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So I think this did come up for you before in a reading that we did. But they're emphasizing that you do have something to teach. And they're, they're talking about um, the Theosophical Society and you finding your way back there. Because they're showing me like a past life with you being connected to that place. And that it's they're like, she's coming home. We want her to go back home. So they're saying they want that connection for you. Because they're saying even you just being on the property in the grounds. Because of the positive energy that's there. Um, that it will uplift you and help you. They're showing me image of you going back to the Theosophical like the Theosophical Society and you kind of just walking around on the grounds in the maze and it's like your foot it, it receives healing energy like the ground there is very healing they're showing me that and that there's lots of uh, positive nature influences and it's a place of uplift you know for uplifting and they are talking about you taking some classes there too like they're saying there's more that she needs to learn and that's why they, and they're saying about a spiritual teacher or mentor and they're not saying like a religious spiritual thing but more of like you um having someone to help you tune in to those parts of yourself that need to be woken up so that you can fulfill your purpose they're saying you still have purpose on this earth and so let me see if there's something else I was guiding. Okay, they are guiding me to um, one more card for you. And then I'm going to get off of here. 
for Hannah. And I, this is a, something that I do. I combine for my, my fellow angel, angel fans. I um, take Archangel Michael cards and put them with Raphael. And I found that these are, I like the way that it's like they help with everything. Okay, so Hannah, let's see. I'm going to turn them over and shuffle. And then, okay, so these are two cards, one from Michael and Raphael. And uh, Latha says, thank you very much, dear Laurie and beloved angels for angel readings to me and to everyone. Lots of love from me always. Thank you for always coming on. Okay, so let's see. Hannah, it says, go forward fearlessly. And then I'm just going to read this because this is a prayer. So everybody, if you want to and you, you want to be a part of it, close your eyes and then just visualize that it's about you. Okay? So this could be something that we'll, we'll all do together. Archangel Michael, thank you for walking with me every step of the way. For holding my hand giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And they are saying that you do have a purpose on the earth. And they're talking about you trusting in yourself. And I do get an image of you smiling. And they are reminding me of like when I drew a smiley face on your paper. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ask your body for a message. And this is for um, other people on here too I get that it's kind of a joint thing. Anybody that is suffering with any type of illness or you know stress, mental, physical. Dear body, please help me hear your messages. Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting my body's needs. And they're showing me an image that if you could put, like Hannah, they're saying, or for for Hannah and for other people on here, they're saying to a powerful thing you can do is to get a picture of yourself, and then that that you have a focal point to visualize, and then imagine like a, a wonderful angel blanket covering your entire body, and and it's healing you, and they're saying ask the angels to help you to understand what's going on inside and let me see if there's anything else they want to bring forward in regards to this card and they're saying that literally you could just say to yourself you know what I'm giving an example I got a stomach ache okay I'm asking my body you know I ask my body to help me hear your messages what's going on right now and then the first thing that you think of like, for example, um, my stomach hurting, and then I think about, oh, I got to do this, and, my, and, I, and I get the visual of my stomach, like, feeling like it's tied in knots. They're saying that's what it has to do with, and then you can work with your, you know, find a way through exercise or, you know, your spiritual team to um, work through that, you know, and... One thing you, that you could say is I ask the angels to help me to let go of the stress right now that I'm carrying in my body that is manifesting as a physical illness. So there's a lot of good books on that. Like Louise Hay has good books on, okay, well, I have this symptom. What does that mean? Or what affirmation can I do to help heal my body? On Hannah, they're saying you could visualize your DNA in your cells, or you could get a picture off of the internet of DNA and cells and visualize that they're perfect and healing. You know, and they're saying that she has to visualize that on that type of level to affect her whole body. And if they're saying if you do that on a regular basis, because they're showing me like ups and downs. And they're, and they're saying if you visualize that on a regular basis that you're going to bring change to yourself. Also sending light in and those different things that I told you that angels were carrying you and, um, you know, affecting you. That you can keep doing that every day. Because they're saying that that's her taking the initiative. That's her taking action to help change things. 
Okay, guys, and I think I'm so glad you came on, Hannah. And let's see, I think I got everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And for the people that don't know me, I do offer readings. So if you want a private reading, that I can tell you the private readings will be even more detailed. And, um, oh, at Hannah, oh, Hannah, I love you too. Thank you, Hannah. Come and see me sometime or, or message me on Facebook, okay? And thanks, everybody. Thanks, Marriott. Thanks, everyone.